Hi all folks, this is Max from OneXRoot.com. So today I'm going to show you how to install a Lee Droids um, ROM on your uh, HTC One X. This is the international version. Please don't try it on the AT&T version. So go ahead and download the two files: uh, flash underscore boot dot zip, uh, renovate uh, no no Lee Droid underscore one underscore extreme blah blah dot zip. Copy the two files. I'll have the links in my um, on my site, I'll have a link to that in below this video. You can go find it there. Um, go ahead and cop copy it to your uh, the internal storage of your HTC One X, and then we're gonna boot into um, One X uh, custom bootloader and recovery. So hold down volume uh, power and the uh, volume up and the volume down button. Hold it down and uh, hold it down until um, it reboots into a bootloader should be any second here and once you're here simply go to um, use the volume down button to go to recovery and uh, hit the power button of course you have to have your phone rooted and uh, your bootloader unlocked if you don't know how go to my site onexroot.com um, and look for the root guide or the FAQ it's, it's all there um, just root it, uh, unlock the bootloader, and uh, you should be all good to go. Next, we're going to do a factory. Uh, actually, with this ROM, you don't even have to do that. It'll do it for you. Go to install from zip. Uh, zip, install from zip. Is that what it was? Uh, install zip from SD card. Hit the power button. Next, hit uh, choose zip, zip from SD card. Hit the power button. And then go find where you copy the two files over. I usually put it in my... Um, download directory. So I'm going to go find uh, my download directory. And the two files we're talking about was the Leadroid 1 Extreme. Sorry, um, just just this file, not the other file. Whoops. I install something else. Um, choose it from SD card. Yeah, this is Clockwork Touch. Clockwork Mod Touch. Um, you just have to copy the Leadroid 1 Extreme to to um, your phone and the other one you have to run it um, the other one is actually for the kernel you have to uh, flash it from your computer uh, if you're running another custom kernel you don't have to like I'm running a phone bricker kernel here so only if you want to install the kernel that comes with Leadroid then you have to do it but that's why I made this video in case you want to I'm gonna go ahead and ex install Leadroid 1 Extreme say yes and this will this one actually has aroma installer that's why I wanted to make a separate video for how to install video to show you all the options um, what this ROM comes with it's really cool and let me walk you through um, go ahead and click next and uh, say yes next with the next button you might have to click on the left part of it to, sometimes it gets a little iffy this is called the aroma installer a lot of developers have been moving to this so you can actually have a bunch of options um, try to do a full, full wipe uh, if you're you can try it without it um, but if you get forced closes after installing the new ROM you can come back and reinstall it do a uh, full wipe um, so go ahead and click next and here um, you can choose all these mods I like the 5x6 this will change the 4x5 Five to five by six, you can put more uh, apps in your op app drawer. And the launcher. Um, also, you can disable um, disable the Leadroid boot animation, but I think it's cool. Um, also, you can enable Sony Bravia Engine. It's supposed to enhance uh, image and video quality. I recommend that. Um, you can get the Samsung Voice if you want, or Samsung Flipboard um, from the Galaxy S3. Um, these are all the stuff you don't need. I don't need HTC stocks, HTC watch, flicker, I don't use that. Uh, boot sound, um, I'll leave it on so I can show you. HTC sense, um, if you want to completely remove HTC sense and use a uh, launcher like Nova Launcher or Apex Launcher for a full um, Google ICS like experience, go ahead and do that. But I'll leave it on. Um, also, you can remove Gmail, Twitter, books. Um, actually, don't use books. Jet Set Print, I don't need that. So, uh, once you've got all the apps you want to remove, um, also, this is great um, because sometimes GF sound, uh, the GPS can get iffy with custom ROMs, but this one allows you to choose the region um, so the GPS will be configured for uh, what continent you are living in. 
and go to next and uh, next here uh, and then it will install it and uh, pretty much done and uh, I know a lot of you asked me about this ROM um, so that's why I'm reviewing it and uh, I've actually used it for a couple hours and I'm just reinstalling it but it's a very very good ROM um, highly recommend it uh, very good ROM he's been Leadroid been making ROMs for as long as I've been I had a Android smartphone but I know my, my nails are getting very very dirty and nasty um, I'm gonna just leave it until somebody somebody decides to um, say something about it <laughs> so dirty no I'm just kidding um, yeah if you have a HTC One X while this is going uh, don't forget to sign up for my email list at onexroot.com uh, we update you once a week with uh, ROM of the week and also it's a great way for you to get in contact with me via email if you have trouble with um, your phone because I've get so many questions I don't know what you know a lot of the times they don't um, people ask me what what is the problem I usually know kind of have a sense but sometimes I don't know the phone they have then I have to email them oh what phone do you have and then they have to oh, I have this phone and then it just you know goes back and forth for no reason but if you sign up for my email list and email me there I'll know what phone you have because it will come to my onexroot.com inbox instead of my main inbox. Um, that's another reason why I use uh, email li email list um, so I can help more people faster. And uh, um, there you go, it's done. Hit next. Um, and I just wanted to show you all the options so you can actually get go senseless or sense and hit finish here with this ROM. Um, and also if you're on YouTube don't forget to hit that like button for me if you like this video at the end um, subscribe button up here it helps me greatly and uh, use that share button to share this with your friends on Twitter Facebook or Google Plus and also this is uh, the case um, I got uh, this is the uh, cruiser light I love it um, this is actually one of my favorites this one and this one's really nice I'll have links where you can get it too um, but that's kind of like a Superman dum, 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 um, boot up startup. So you can actually turn that off when you install it if you don't like it. So that's why I'm, another reason I made this video so you can turn it off if you want to. If you don't like Superman. Um, but I do like Superman. So I'm going to leave it on there. But this is awfully nice case. I love it. Makes you look high on Android. And I got the Lee Droid ROM, which looks like he's getting high on Android. <laughs> so, there we go. Um, so, I'm just going to leave the video on so you can actually see that I didn't edit that video out or something. And, you know, it's going to run fine. And the last part we'll do, we'll just flash the kernel. Um, Lee Droid ROM, the, um, he, he actually provides a script for Linux, Mac, and uh, Windows. So you can just run that, uh, put it in fastboot, run the script, and uh, you should have the uh, the kernel that it comes with. And uh, it's almost done. The first boot it always takes a while. Um, and uh, if you have any boot loop problems, you can always try doing uh, Dolly Cache and uh, White Cache in in recovery. Go back to it. Uh, but usually, uh, this one I already installed it without doing all that. And it works fine, so you should be all good to go. Anyway, actually, you know what? I, I'll be back. This is getting way too long. So I just had to wait a couple more seconds. It booted up uh, first time. And there we go. It's preparing my SIM card. And, uh, and now I'm just going to skip all this stuff real quick. And I'll be back. This is taking... Oh, there we go. Um, select your carrier, AT&T. Uh oh, let's go back in the United States. And again, you can try it without a wipe. Um, it might work. A lot of times, if it's sense based and you're on sense ROM, it will work without a wipe. Um, but just to be sure, you're doing a wipe. At wipe isn't absolutely necessary. It's just, um, it's, you know, it's usually when you install a ROM, when you wipe, you know, you have higher chances of it running properly. Um, so this is the Leadroy ROM, but I still have my um, Bricker kernel, which I installed a long time ago. Um, so when I turn it off, I can actually wake uh, and 
I can do that, which is because I have the um, the kernel I was talking about, the Bricker ROM. This one actually, even though I I install from Fastboot, because it uses a ROM installer, you'll have to install the kernel separately. So we'll have to put it back into um, back into Fastboot. Or if you if you like the kernel you're running on, you don't have to. Um, for example, I like this kernel, so um, but I will do it just to show you. If you go to more, it'll show you the kernel version. I have the brick kernel, which allows you to the the swipe to wake, and the swipe to sleep, which is really cool. Um, anyway, let me do this for you. Um, hold down the volume up, volume down, and the power button again, and we're gonna put it back into fast boot and run that. Um, run the uh, kernel flashing part here. And keep holding it down and uh, once you get here choose fastboot um, connect to your computer alright and then um, let's go to your computer. Go ahead and download uh, flash underscore boot dot zip well you probably downloaded it earlier on your computer um, and uh, if you unzip it you'll get all these files uh, for for Mac or Linux, just get into shell and uh, run fastboot dash boot dash uh, Linux dot sh. That's um, just have to change the permissions. I will actually show you uh, for Mac or Linux real quick. Uh, for Mac or Linux, go into shell, do chmod seven five five star. You'll have to get into the directory that you got there. Do cd downloads and then do cd flash underscore boot. And then do chmy like that. And uh, for Linux, you'll have to probably do sudo and uh, fast sudo sa space fast boot uh, oh, flash dash boot dash Linux dot sh. You're just putting that file. And for Mac, just do um, sh fast uh, flash boot dash Mac Mac like that. Um, that's for Linux or Mac. For Windows, just double click on the batch file and uh, it will run it. And it says it's preparing. Um, just, just hit it, enter so it will flash it. And hit enter again. So now it's sending boot. Um, and it says OK. And uh, um, hit, hit enter again. Hit enter again. And you're done. And uh, choose H boot. Here. Oh, sorry. Go to go down to reboot and uh, hit power button, and you're all good to go. And I'll be back when this reboots. Hi, folks. So I'm back here, um, and I've installed this ROM and the kernel. Um, most ROMs you don't actually don't have to do that fast boot. Um, it's just because with this ROM, it wasn't included. The boot image wasn't included with the uh, ROM installer. Uh, but now you'll see go to uh, software information more um, you'll see that kernel has been changed I think this is actually the stock kernel I'm not sure um, but you don't have to change the kernel if most kernels are compatible with most ROMs right now because they're all based off the same software version um, but there I got S voice and all this cool 6x5 rosy um, stuff uh, anyway, I'll have a review of this. That was how to install the Leadroid ROM on your international uh, HTC One X. And uh, if you have a, oh, you know what? I already did all those lines. Anyway, stay high on Android, folks. Um, and uh, that's it. And uh, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. And stay high on Android. And of course, don't buy an iPhone. It sucks. <laughs>